everyone. Uh, we have a fun little craft to do today. We um, are gonna take our Scentsy fragrance flowers. Um, I need a new one in my kitchen window because that one dried up a lot faster than the one back in my bathroom did and Caitlin wants to put one in her room. Um, so since we're opening new ones, we've decided that we're gonna do a little craft with them. This is something I've seen uh, other consultants do. Um, it's a lot of fun. What you do is you take a Sharpie, just pick any color that you, you like, and you're gonna color the um, flower portion of it. So opening it up, I'm not gonna put it in the oil jar yet because I'm going to do the little craft. Now, just a quick warning, a little disclaimer. If um, you do this little craft with your Scentsy flower, um, it does void the manufacturer warranty. So if something happens like the petals start to fall off, um, you're not gonna be able to get a replacement because they're gonna say, well, you altered the um, original state of the product. So therefore the warranty is void. But for me, it's a $16 product and um, I've never heard of that happening before, but uh, it just, to me, it's like worth the risk because I've seen other people that have done this craft and it turns out beautiful and they don't have any issues. But um, just know that if you alter anything, um, beyond uh, what the manufacturer has provided you then you do avoid any kind of warranty. But like I said, it's a $16 product. It's made to last two months. This is not something where you just refill the oil. Um, once the oil is gone, you just buy a whole new flower. So um, for me, for a two, two month product, it's worth the risk to do this little fun craft. So Caitlin, you need to start getting going on opening yours up. What um, color are you gonna pick? Pink. So mine is the um, Dahlia. That's what this uh, shape is. It has a lot more um, little petals on it. Caitlin's, I'm not, I don't remember which one I gave you. There's also the um, Buttercup Bell, which is a different shape of the flower. Let's see what Caitlin got. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do the kitchen. So I'm thinking maybe blue. Should I do blue for the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, like do, a light blue? Do royal blue, like to match your... Like a darker? Darker yeah, blue? Like to match the pleats. You don't think that'll be too dark though in the kitchen window? Maybe it's just like a medium blue. I'll do like a medium blue. Alright, what did you, what shape did you ooh you got the buttercup bell? So show that to the, the camera. So this is the Dahlia Darling. It has a little bit more petals and Caitlin's is a little bit more opened up. So this is gonna be fun. So what you do is you take your flower when it's a dry. You're gonna do this before you stick it in oil because you do not want it to have any oil on it. You want it to be completely dry. You're gonna take a, a Sharpie, color of your choice. I actually just got a pack of, um, I don't know, I think like 15 different colored Sharpies on Amazon for 12 bucks or something. And I use Sharpies a lot, so it was worth it. You want to show up? Yeah, I think light pink will show up. It'll be um, a lot more subtle. There's a darker pink if you grab it a darker, but um, yeah, it'll show up eventually. So well, this is gonna be awkward because we're gonna <laughs> just gonna hold it up high while you do it. Um, so I think what you're supposed to do is you start kind of um, towards the middle and you're just going to put, see, you just put the little, just, uh, on, the, just yeah. on the very edge of the flower and then when we're done, we're going to put these flowers in the oil and that oil is going to come up through here um, and make this uh, color on the edge kind of spread. Like, have you ever done um, the little science project in elementary school where you put the celery in the colored water and then you watch the color come up yeah. through the celery? It's kind of similar similar to that, so I'm doing my best to try to show it on the video. Um, and then when we're done coloring them, I will take a quick picture after the um, color has dissipated. I think it takes about 24 hours for the oil to completely come up through the flower and spread this um, color around so very simple you see we're just doing just the edges of all the petals this is a really just a cute quick craft to do you just want to add a little pop of color to your flower um, the majority of them are just kind of light in color some can be like a little bit more off-white these are all handmade so each flower is going to be different and sometimes you get a little bit of a different color variety with them. Um, so, but for the most part, they're between a white and an off-white color. This is just gonna have a little fun. Now I did my other flower that had dried up in the kitchen window. 
I wanted to do a quick practice since I've never done this before. And I did try to do a little Sharpie on the edge of that. It did work really well, except when I got to the very um, outer edge, one of the petals kind of like started dissolving as I um, was touching it with this. So that could be what they're talking about as far as like um, avoiding the warrants you like. But I think if you do it when it's dry, I don't think you're gonna have that problem. I think it's because the petals were almost like a little wet. Caitlin, you're gonna get yours done a lot um, faster than me because you don't have as many petals. Mine's <laughs> yeah, but I had all these. Stuff. Yeah, you have, you have longer ones, but mine is very. Um, oh, that looks creepy. A lot more intricate. What's that phobia where you don't like? Yeah. Holes. What is that called? Tri is it trypophobia? Trypophobia. Is that triggering some trypophobia? Yes. That's what I was thinking. For Caitlin, it's a little hard for her to hold it up for the camera to show, but basically. Scraping the sharpie along the very edge of each petal. And I have seen other consultants where they've actually done like rainbow colors. They've gotten really intricate and done every petal a different color or done a, a pattern that's a little elaborate for me. I, <laughs> I don't have the patience that this this even just this is um, a little tedious for me but this is a lot of a lot of fun and it's almost done here and you're just I really like that color pink on that one well that's because we have like weird lighting in here I don't know why but when we do videos in here Caitlin likes to turn the lights off and make it this dark looks way and just use the ring camera, the camera ring light thing that we yeah, have, that's what it's for. which is, to me, it's kind of weird because it's like we're in the dark, but I guess it does look better mm -hmm. on the actual camera when I open the videos. So I'm pretty close to the end. So this is kind of like, could be relaxing too, huh? Like if you had a little bit more time and then we're kind of in a hurry because you have something to do today. But we could, um, it's going to be something that could be really relaxing, just a fun little yeah. craft. Do you think um, we're going to do this to the rest of our flowers from now on? Or do you think you'd like to just have one just laying every once in a while? Well, this will be your first time having a flower up in the bedroom, huh? getting harder towards the outside, which I thought that would have been yeah, I mean, the easier part. Closer. Yeah, but the like petals aren't as sturdy, so they're moving a little bit more when we try to get the edges. I would say we've got some little kids. I know Caitlin, when she was little, um, was always into doing crafts and a little bit of a hyper personality, so I was always trying to find crafts, things for her to do with her hands to kind of calm her and get her to focus. She loved doing stuff like this, so if I'd have known about Scentsy back then, we would have, we would have done a lot of this. We would have colored some flowers every once in a while just to have some chill time together. Ooh. Oh, one of the petals? Yeah, that happened to me. Oh, I thought it was just the other one because it was kind of moist from the oil. On the bigger ones, I think the petals are not as um, sturdy. So when you do this, you just have to be a little bit gentle on the outer edges because these petals, but again, that's probably why Scentsy says if you alter these in any way, they, they avoid it because they don't want you calling and saying, hey, I was trying to color my flower with a Sharpie and the petal rip. Now I want to replace them. I'll say, well, you can see color with a Sharpie. But like I said, it's $16, so for me, it's worth the risk to have something unique. And if all the petals, I don't think I would be that heavy handed to rip all the petals, but if I did try to do this, and I'd say, oh well, that was just the risk I took, I guess. But, um, I guess I've never heard of anything happening like that. I just know that other consultants like to give that disclaimer before they recommend doing this craft because that way, customers stay happy. They don't say, well, you didn't tell me that I wasn't going to be able to 
able to get a replacement if something happened to my flower if I did that, but that's the only one. Now the one in my bathroom has lasted over two months now, and it's still about halfway full, so I think that one's actually gonna last me four months because it's not in direct sunlight. And the one in my kitchen window dried up after about two months, but it was right in the window, right in direct sunlight. So where you put your flower matters. I still have my flowers. You have another one? I, I didn't know you had one in your room. Mm. Did I already give you a long one? time? Does it still have oil in it? Yeah. But or do you have it in the window? Really and Caitlin is the vanilla bean buttercream scent and we haven't tried that in a flower yet so that'll be interesting to see what the bakery line smells like in a fragrance flower. I think I've only smelled the scent in wax form. And different products can perform differently. I've learned there are some where I just absolutely love the wax and then if I smell it in a car bar or something else it's like almost too strong for me or some that I love like um oh what's the lemony one um squeeze the day squeeze the day I love that in the counter clean and um in a car bar but if I burn that in a wax, it is way too overwhelming, like citrus for me. So it's funny. So we'll see how vanilla bean buttercream performs in uh, fragrance for. So now that we have, I'm going to take the caps off like that. And then this little plug is just to help the oil not leak out. So we're going to pop that out. I might have to do this. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm jealous. I think I want the vanilla bean buttercream. I was like, okay, okay so take your um, silver, <laughs> take the little uh, silver cap, put that on. So it's nice and pretty now. Just stick your flower in there. And now the oil is going to start to diffuse put through and uh, I will include a picture of what these look like after the oil comes through the petals. It's going to change the look dramatically and you'll like it. Stay tuned. So here's the fragrance flower after approximately 24 hours. Um, it's had time for the ink to kind of disperse um, through the petals. It's actually really 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 pretty so this will be fun for you to uh, do to your fragrance flower before you put it in the oil. I'm gonna go upstairs right now and uh, check on Caitlin's. Hers should look just the same. Here's Caitlin's fragrance flower. She used the pink on it. It is gorgeous. As you can see, the, the ink kind of bleeds down a little bit after the oil gets into the petals. It's very pretty and my goodness, you would not believe how good the vanilla bean buttercream smells in a fragrance flower version. It is so good. Thank you. 